I saw old, I saw elder. I saw beautiful blue, black, purple, black, smooth skin, velvet skin elders, 70, 80, 90 years old. Some of them might have been 100. I saw them with their wraps on. I saw them adorned. I saw them with their Ithram garments on. I saw them come to make the sacred pilgrimage to Mecca and to recite the words on the road to Becca, La Becca, La Becca, Ha Allah, Huma La Beck, La Becca, La Becca, Ha Allah, Huma La Beck. Here I come, O oh God. Here I come in thy august presence. I saw them. I saw them in the Mitar or the airport. Some of them with their little food. They didn't want to eat the devil's food. They didn't want to eat the white man's food. And many of us have to take our own food and water when we go on a journey. I saw them with their food in the airport, and I saw these dirty, nasty, so-called Arabs run up to them. Elder woman, I saw one of them. I had seen them pushing a few around, but this one got to me. They went to her sister, looked like she was in her 80s or her 90s, from Nigeria, which is generally the biggest delegation to Hajj. And now they have placed some restrictions on the Nigerian blue-black delegation. Are you going to place restrictions on the people's religious rights as one of the five pillars of their faith to make the sacred pilgrimage to Mecca? I saw him run over to her and snatch her up, shake her and tell her, trying to tell her in Arabic that she couldn't have this, bring this food from the airport into the country. And I ran to him and damn near knocked him down and grabbed him and snatched him up and hung him on the wall like you hang a goddamn picture on the wall and held him up. I didn't speak Arabic, but I said, that's my grandmother there. Whether I know her name or not, that's my flesh and blood. That's my kith and kin. That's my grandmother. She's flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, bone of my bone, and spirit of my spirit. I say, you don't put your goddamn hands on her. And I dropped this stinky ass on the ground, on the floor of the airport. Stepped over him and went over and put my arms around her and got on the floor with her. Helped her get up. I saw our people, some of them, save all of their lives just to make the sacred pilgrimage to Mecca. I saw some of them that want to die in Mecca. They believe it's a sacred place to die. And they don't expect to be turned away or to be treated mean or cold within the sacred precinct and anywhere near what is called Haram Sharif. And so I see them sometimes stay past the time for their ticket to leave. And they come out in the streets with bread in their thobe and with their robe and they go among our people and take the, the, the robe and throw the bread up in the air and let it hit the dirt and hit the ground. And our people scurry on the ground to pick the bread up from the I dirt. I wouldn't pass over a black man pissy drunk in the streets or a crackhead in the streets. I wouldn't pass over one of them to get to an Arab. Never would I do that. An Arab who has said, an Arab who has had the kalima, an Arab who has taken the shahada and said, Ashadu illaha illaha illallah wa ashadu ayna Muhammad abduhu rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's that old time religion. Will pass over a wino or a junkie that is black to get to an Arab just because he says, Assalamu alaikum. And the wino don't know how to say it, the junkie don't know how to say it. Hell no, I'm not going to pass over my people for no goddamn body. In the name of no religion, in the name of no spirituality, in the name of no discipline, in the name of nothing. Hell. You got to get up out of the dust of the book you Take yourself from the dust.
return to your soul and stop following dirty, uh, dusty, camel breath arrows. They are not fit to be your teacher. They are not fit to be your teacher. Run from reality. Said you can't run from.